English farmer Nigel needs a wife. I'm going to try to make him a wife out of this log. Got the first cut. I'm going to take the hair and work down from there. So he needs a wife. I'm going to fashion her after all creatures great and small, Mrs. Hall. She kind of looks to me like a typical English farmer's wife. Her hairstyle and her long kind of formless dress with an apron over it. And anyway, come check it out. And uh, you'll, be, you'll be getting set up with a wife. Now I'm going to try to, I got some of the neck and hair shaped here, left some for the face. Cutting out the arms, trying to take away what I don't need, make the arms stand out and have her hands clasped together. I take a little bit of this away. Then she's going to be a farmer's English wife, an older lady. I don't want to make her slender and make her kind of sturdy, kind of like uh, Nigel himself. He's got a little middle-aged paunch, so I'm going to give her a little extra weight. Um, I just want to take away a little bit here and then kind of leave the dress. All right, so I'm gonna take my little cutter burr and I'm gonna shape the eyes here. So right the eye, I've got like a little bit of mount for the eye. It's somewhat flat here, but kind of rounds up to it. So what I'm trying to get is a, uh, when you wanna get eyes, you gotta get that, take away the middle and leave the little bit of eyelid around. You can see that. You wanna take the eye part back and leave the eyelids. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut a little bit right here and then go in and just kind of flat. <laughs> then I'm going to go in flat and kind of just take it back. So it leaves an eyelid around this spot that looks kind of like that. So that's the idea. That's what I'm going to hit right now.
right, so Maggie, Mrs. Hall, is based it on Mrs. Hall from the original All Creatures Great and Small. She's gonna have an apron. I wanna make the straps for the apron come across here. And this is the apron, and the apron stops here. I'm gonna give her some straps here. She's gonna have a little ribbon of something tying the apron here, and the straps go across her neck right here. Right, so I'm starting over on the hair a little bit. Not super thrilled with her face, how it came out. Had the hairline was way too low. She didn't have enough forehead. I just stopped the other day and just backed off and wanted to come take a fresh look at it. So I bring her forehead back, give her more forehead higher up, and I'll start her hair higher up, up here. And I just didn't like how that, so I'm gonna start the hair down this way. I took a little of this off on each side, took this back, give her a little more forehead. So it looks a little more normal, have the hair starting here. So let's try that. Good boy. Billy, sit. Good boy. Billy, speak. 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 Good boy. Good boy, speak. Good boy. Now to give her more realistic hair color, I didn't want it to be all one color gray, so I put a little different shade of gray and a little bit more black kind of mixed in, to give it a different altogether overall different color. Maggie came out pretty nice, Nigel's wife. She's got a little apron on, her little flower dress. I fashioned her after Mrs. Hall from All Creatures Great and Small, the original series the hairdo and the dress and her overall look. Nigel's got his wife, Maggie. Finally got around to getting her. <laughs> Nigel English Farmer, watch that video if you haven't seen it yet. And Maggie, his English wife, farmer's wife. She's got a little apron on. She's got little streaks of gray and darker hair. They're a happy little couple. Come check out me carving them up. The English farmers and their Jack Russells.